Today's game says a lot about you guys. It says a lot about the guys we got in this locker room, the culture of our organization, the character of our football team, and where we're headed. Everybody understand? This is Williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina. Hello and welcome in. The Gamecocks find themselves down in the third quarter, 21 to 7, but they fight back twice to tie the ball game before falling to Tennessee, 31-27. Coach, no surprise here. SEC football to open up the season. Two closely matched football teams. Tell us your thoughts about the season opener. I told our players when we started the season that you know seven to eight of these ten games are going to come down to a one-score game. I think we're 14 and seven in our time here at South Carolina now, 14 and eight in one score games, but all of them this year are gonna be one score. And, and we gotta coach better in those situations, play better in those situations. And no one play lost the ball game. At the end of the day, it's accumulation of five, seven to eight plays, normally in the third and fourth quarter, uh, especially when you're gonna be playing tightly contested contests, which we're gonna have all year. And, and that we just got to play better and, and coach better in those situations. Had the two turnovers, obviously, was a big difference, uh, both in the territory. One end of the ball game on the play, unfortunately, where Cam Smith just gets hit randomly by the football. Yeah. Coach, is the return man at that time supposed to be yeah. sp saying something to him? And Jamie to was, away? we're trying to poison the ball. He was pointing at the ball. And sometimes when you're holding the guy up and he's battling on a gunner, trying to give Jamie an opportunity to return the kick, in a rugby situation, the ball's bouncing all kinds of places and unfortunately took a bad bounce for us. Coach, on our Prisma Health injury report, it was obvious Mukwamu, uh, your second team, all SEC corner, was out of the ball game in the second half, didn't play at all. Tell us about his health. Anybody else who may have been dinged up in this ball game? He had a groin. We didn't feel comfortable putting him back in the game. I think he's going to be fine, but he certainly has strained his groin. And then Sherrod Green had a hip. He, all, we've, all the x-rays are normal. He should be fine. It's a more of a muscular thing, so we'll see as we move forward. Mukwamu with a groin, that can last sometimes. Coach, what do you think? Is, well, is it, take a look at it and see what we need to do. All right. We'll take a look at the first half highlights when we come back. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp from Learfield IMG College. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Coca-Cola, Prisma Health, Britons of Columbia, and Backstreet's Bar and Grill. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. You never know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next. Rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. Driver in your blind spot, we can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best-selling brand. Now, get zero for 60, plus a 1,000 trade assist cash, or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Steel Dealer has the legendary tools to take on your to-do list. Real Steel. Find yours. For the space you've always wanted. Pick up the lightweight FS38 trimmer or the hard-working BG50 blower. Only $139.95. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Welcome back in. The Gamecocks fall in the 2020 season opener with Tennessee 31-27. to Let's go out to our first half highlights. Coach, uh, 
gorgeous night. I guess that's what you get uh, in Columbia on September 26th. Perfect for football. No doubt about it. You know, here Colin hits a big uh, third, third and four conversion to Shy. Shy had ten receptions in the game. You know, they had a really good, uh, you know, throwing the ball really well there. You know, Kevin makes a nice job bouncing the ball on the outside. First drive of the ball game, we take the ball right down the field, and really caught a good call by Mike. They pile up the middle, and uh, Kevin goes in there and dives for the pile on. So it's really good momentum starting uh, the first drive with a touchdown there, and excited for our guys and. Uh, you know, I thought Mike came in and did a really nice job, you know, certainly on that drive and in the second half especially. But it was good to get seven points on the board early. 75 yards on 11 plays, and the Hill was four or six on the drive. Well, we were, they were one of 11 on third down, so we, we did a nice job of getting after them on third down. We need to play better in the run game, especially in the second half. But really a nice sack right there. J.J. Mbari comes free. And then uh, here, I think they just had a miscommunication, bobbled the snap. And so that was a really nice job right there by our, our, our pump block team of giving us some really good field position. We missed an opportunity there, but here we got the quarterback <coughs> sack, excuse me. Our linebacker needs to stay in the flat right there. They hit the one ball on third one to Jamie, which they had, we had perfect coverage. It was a great throw and catch. And then our, our linebacker uh, kind of comes up there, but that was the seven points really they scored on offense in the first half. Uh, disappointed, really came on two plays. Uh, we come back down here, we're in the red zone. We got, we got backed up in the second quarter a lot. And uh, there's a tip ball right there. We got to find a way to get that ball on the ground or catch it. Uh, but they, they end up get seven points on defense right there and scoring. Uh, so it's tough to, tough to continue to win. But you go here, another second and eight situation, RPO to shot, it makes a really nice catch across the middle. We come back, it's a, still a one score game. Really nice play by Jordan Birch. He's going to continue to, to be a great Gamecock and a, a guy that we're really excited about him and his future and what he brings. And, you know, in the first half right here with really nice coverage and cover two, and we get a really good rush right there with Aaron Sterling and J.J. Ambare. That's how the first half ends. A pick six, the difference. Colin Hill gave up 14-7 Tennessee. Go back out to williams Bryce Stadium now. Coach, an opportunity here trying to get a stop, but Tennessee puts it on the ground seven of eight plays here. Yeah, just really disappointed with our run defense. They tempoed us a little bit seven out of eight plays. They ran the ball really the same run that we had defended in the first half. Uh, so that was disappointing. Big ball down the middle to a 42 yard right there to, to Xavier Leggett. Really nice catch on his part. Good ball placement by Colin. Uh, again, nice ball placement again with Shy, and we split them right there on third and six. Uh, cut it to a, to a, a seven point game. Uh, they go back in, in, in the run game. Really nice stop on third and two right here uh, by J.J. and Aaron. Uh, and so force a field goal. They missed the field goal. Uh, so we got a lot of momentum going here as far as it being a seven-point game. We come back down the, the field and really nice ball to Deshaun Fenwick. And thought he got in the end zone, but he didn't. And we went back to the quarterback sneak right there and really good push by our offensive line to get the ball in the end zone and make it a tie ball game. That's the first rushing touchdown for Colin Hill in his career, the Colorado State transfer. And back to the ground game here. Here's Shy trying yeah. to get that first down marker. Coach. Well, we thought we talked about going for it, and we really, I was hoping they were going to make, make a review. We had a hard time seeing it on the sideline, obviously, with the ball coming to us right there, but uh, we, we went ahead and punted it, and, and then uh, they, they were able to flip the field on us a little bit, and Jamie did a nice job feeling punts right there. Uh, uh, we come back on offense, and uh, Really nice run right here by Kevin Harris. Got to get some open field right there and go finish that run. Stays on his feet. Really good job battling by him. Tennessee with that field goal they kicked, 27 yarder after the miss that you've seen. Then we hit the, we, we tie the ball game again there with 10.48 to go. Uh, and this is where we need to make a stop on defense. We, we they hit us a couple runs and we felt like we needed to load the box right here. And just as you look back, you got to lean and create uh, some, some Cushion right there. We had a fourth and 11 situation. I wanted to go ahead and kick the field goal to make it a touchdown game. Uh, we end up getting the ball back with no timeouts, but we should have gotten it back with 129 left in the game to give us an opportunity uh, to go win the game. And uh, we didn't do that. Yeah, punt play to end it when you would have gotten it back after your timeouts with right at 130 to go. No timeouts remaining, and that's how it ends. Another close ball game in the SEC, 31-27 the final. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp from Learfield IMG College. Join us every week at Backstreet's Bar and Grill on Divine Street for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Tune in to Carolina Calls every week or go to backstreetsgrill.com for more information.
You never know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next. Rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. Driver in your blind spot, we can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best-selling brand. Now, get zero for 60, plus 1,000 trade assist cash, or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. Unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. The logo on our players' helmets is more than just a symbol. It represents our university, alumni, and everything it means to be a Gamecock. The Prisma Health mark on my headset also has a meaning. Prisma Health providers are on the sidelines every day taking care of our players and they are providing the same exceptional care for everyone across the Midlands and the Upstate. With more access to the highest level of care, research innovations, and patient education, Prisma Health is committed to helping you be the healthiest you. Prisma Health is proud to be the official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. We're proud to have them on our team. To learn more about the team behind the team, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. New year, new team, new mindset, new mentality, new attitude, right? You saw it through training camp, real easy to see. That's what happens tonight, right? To have faith in yourself, to know you're gonna play well, all right? Faith in your teammate. and know your teammate's going to do it for you too. Faith in him, everybody understand that. Pitch play, left side, Harris trying to get to the byline. Dance for it, give it to him. Touchdown Carolina, touchdown. Back in the pocket, here comes Carolina. Garantano makes one miss, he can't the second. They drop him on a sack. Ball in left hand, one foot, hopping over. 
Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay off my cones. Ball on your right arm. Same thing going back. Same thing going back. Move those back down there, Drew, please. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Take care of the ball. No, shot ran a corner. What what Finn would do. So you go set him up. He think he about to run up out. Set him up and go. And then go. Yeah. Don't rock the ball. Keep it up high and tight. Good, Sean. Hey, let's get that ball in the outside arm, though, Sean. Squeeze those elbows in. Say hit. Good. Stay on the line. Squeeze those elbows in. Ready. Say hit. Good. Service each other. Here we go. Coming back. Coming back. Coming back. You can't let him undercut you, right? You got to win on the route. Good. Good, Kevin. You ain't tired. Stand up. It's tired as a weak mental state. If that guy just is unblocked right there and they pull the ball, block it, right? Block him because you know we're throwing it. Just don't let that guy run you by. All right, that's all right. Finish the drill. Finish the drill. Have some body control. Know where your body's at. Ready, set, hit. Let's go. All right, you got the day off tomorrow, but that don't mean you slack off in your recovery. That's important because when we come back Friday and practice, right, we got to be better than what we were today. We got better today. Still not good enough, right? Everybody knows that. All right, here, get it in there. Come on. Come on. There you go. Family on two, one, two. Family. For COVID-19. The coronavirus. Well, the Pac-12 not playing football. Very, very difficult. They would play football with fans in the stadium or without them. We've been away. Things have been different. Difficult. Life tore us apart. A swift, sudden silence, a new normal. Things we took for granted, taken from us. Our battle armor is about more than a uniform. It's symbolic of who we are. Indomitable spirits that will never quit. Even though we can't all be together through that spirit, we are once again united. And when you're united, when you refuse to quit, then you have something that cannot be taken. Playing won't fix everything, but it's progress and we will get there together. Steel Dealer has the legendary tools to take on your to-do list. Real Steel. Find yours. For the space you've always wanted. Pick up the lightweight FS38 trimmer or the hard-working BG50 blower. Only $139.95. Find yours at steeldealers.com. You never know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. 
driver in your blind spot? We can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best-selling brand. Now, get zero for 60, plus 1,000 trade assist cash, or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. The logo on our players' helmets is more than just a symbol. It represents our university, alumni, and everything it means to be a Gamecock. The Prisma Health mark on my headset also has a meaning. Prisma Health providers are on the sidelines every day taking care of our players, and they are providing the same exceptional care for everyone across the Midlands and the Upstate. With more access to the highest level of care, research innovations, and patient education, Prisma Health is committed to helping you be the healthiest you. Prisma Health is proud to be the official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. We're proud to have them on our team. To learn more about the team behind the team, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. Good hard work has earned Jay Urich the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the football team, Yurik is a junior public health major with a 3.743 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. Hill out of the pocket, got some time down the middle, caught at the 10. Deeping for the end zone and he's got it. Shot Smith, touchdown Carolina. Touchdown Shot Smith, 28 yards from a bullet. From Colin Hill, the extra point could make it 21-14. That's your Sandsbury Eye Center. Did you see that play 29-yard touchdown throw to Shai Smith on a third and six, Coach, when you really needed it? Shai came alive again for you. Well, he had 10 receptions for over 100 yards. He, throughout training camp, he has made more explosive plays than we've had in a long time, and certainly a guy that we're excited about the rest of his senior year as he continues to progress. Thank you to Sandsbury. Thank you to Shai. And now our Terminex Pest player of the game, Hard not to go with your senior receiver coach. As you mentioned, the 10 catches, it's the fourth time he's had a 100-yard receiving game. The last time was against Tennessee a year ago, and uh, he did a lot tonight on the field. Never got really a chance to uncork it on a kickoff return, but he was catching everything thrown no his doubt. way. No doubt. Well, he went back as a kickoff return. He also was a gunner on our punt mm -hmm. team. So, so he, he did a lot of things for us tonight. We, we need to get him more involved in the run game and the speed sweeps because he's very effective doing that, uh, but very efficient in the throwing game with Shaq. Uh, much more to come. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp from Learfield IMG College. If the Gamecocks gain 350 yards or more, turn on your notifications on the Game Day app to learn how you can get a free biscuit from Hardee's on Monday. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. You never know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next. Rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. Driver in your blind spot, we can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best selling brand. Now, get zero for 60, plus 1,000 trade assist cash, or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Only your steel dealer has the legendary tools to take on your to do list. Real steel. Find yours for the space you've always wanted. Pick up the lightweight FS38 trimmer 
or the hard-working BG50 blower, only $139.95. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Coca-Cola, Prisma Health, Britons of Columbia, and Backstreet's Bar and Grill. Everybody listen to me real quick. It's not what we do, it's how you do it. You gotta have a standard that you set for yourself when you come out on the grass. Like, you wanna be great, don't pick and choose when you wanna be great. You gotta be great every day. You gotta be great every rep. We win because of how we prepare. On September 26th, the outcome will be determined, but we determine the outcome right now. All right, so let's go back to when Tafan Gilmore talked to us. Something I'll never forget. He went to the New England Patriots, won Super Bowls. He's been in the Pro Bowl every year. You asked the question. You said, what's the difference? He said, practice. We practice hard in New England. Our coaches are very demanding. He told you. Welcome back in. Coach and I are in the Cockaboos Club, one of the premium areas at williams Bryce Stadium. New, you can join us here in the south end zone. Of course, call the Gamecock Club or go to GamecocksOnline.com to get more information. Coach, it only gets better. Another SEC East opponent. This one's ranked number three in the country in the Florida Gators in the swamp, a noon kickoff. Give us a couple Toyota keys to the game. Well, Kyle Trask had a fabulous game today. I think six touchdown six. passes and uh, just really has a great pocket presence. We obviously need to affect the quarterback as best we can. Uh, Kyle Pitts, the tight end, is probably the best tight end in the country as far as just defending him in the passing game. And Dan does a good job of moving around. Kadarius Tony uh, Grimes is another really good weapon. So they've got some weapons on offense and uh, you know defensively, they're all some really good players. But they recruited well and they've got some good players as well. But we've got to be able to to, to limit Trask as far as the explosive plays today. That's the thing that jumps out at you: the number right. of explosives he had. Yeah, Pittman was amazing, and they come off a high and a lot of confidence going into that ball game. Uh, the Gamecocks fall today 31-27, but coach, let me thank you and your staff and everybody at the University and Athletics Department just to get us to this day. It was a hard fought battle. We don't want to lose, but you've done a masterful job of handling the team, keeping them safe and getting them out there. We know there will be better days for the Gamecocks. We hope that you'll join us on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.